Hello grade 10 children welcome once again to our english lesson this lesson focuses on unit 10 of your grade 10 textbook this is the last lesson we are going to study for unit 10 in this lesson you will be able to practice grammar let's learn how to form questions using wh question words correctly let's start the lesson children you have already practiced question formation in one of our earlier lessons that was unit 4 lesson 2 i hope you have watched it if not you can subscribe to our channel and watch it because i taught all the basics of question formation in that lesson in this lesson you are going to learn some more things about questions you are going to practice more on how to use question words to get information let's start with this activity here you have eight questions in each question the question word is missing you have to fill the blanks with a suitable answer or a question word selected from the box you may have to use the certain question words more than once You can post the video and try it now. Okay children, let's check your answers now. Let's read the first one. Here the question is blank bag is yours. What can be the suitable question word? You have to find out the particular bag belonging to someone. You have to fill the blank with which It should be which bag is yours. Now let's check the second one. Here the question is blank is your best friend. What's the answer? The wh question word required here should refer to a person. It should be who. Who is your best friend? What about the third one? Blank did you go last evening? Here the wh question word needed should ask for a place. What is the suitable question word? It's where. Where did you go last evening? Now the fourth one. Here the question is blank. Can you give me a call? So the answer should be a time, date, date, month or a year. So you have to fill the blank with when. The question is when can you give me a call The fifth question is blank pencil is this Here you want to find the owner of the pencil What is the question word Yes it's whose So the answer is whose pencil is this Now the sixth one blank didn't you go to school today Here you have to ask for the reason. So the suitable question word is why. Why didn't you go to school today? Now the seventh one. Blank is the library. Here again you need the question word where to find a place. So where is the library? Let's check the last one. Blank is your birthday. What is the question? When is your birthday? Okay children, I hope you could get all the answers correct. Okay children, now let's do another activity. Here you have five statements. In each one there is a part underlined. You have to form a question to get the underlined part as your answer. To make it easier the question word is given you have to complete the rest of the question as i have taught you how to form wh questions with the help of auxiliary verbs in my previous lesson i'm sure you won't find it difficult okay pause the video and form the questions now let's check your answers now Look at the first one. My hometown is Malambe. Malambe is underlined. The question word is what? 
So how do you form a question? What is your hometown? He asked. The question is asked by someone else. You have to change the pronoun. So you write your hometown instead of my hometown. Look at the next one. I work in a bank. Bank is the word underlined. The question word is where. As this is in simple present tense, you have to add the verb do when forming the question. Like in the earlier situation, you have to change the pronoun I to you as the question is asked by someone else. So the question is, where do you work? Now the next one. I got late because I missed the bus. The part underlined is because I missed the bus. This gives the reason why you got late. Also this statement is in simple past tense. So instead of do, this time you have to use did. So the question is, why did you get late? Next one is, my birthday is on the 27th. The underlined part is a date. So the question is, when is your birthday? Instead of my birthday, don't forget to write your birthday. Now the last one. My sister gave this book. The underlined part is my sister. And the question word is who. As you can see, the question is in simple past tense. But as the answer my sister is in the subject position, we don't add did, although the statement is in past tense. So the correct question is, who gave this book? I hope you could form all the questions correctly. Now let's see the questions you formed and the answers that were already given in the proper order. Let's read them. First one is, what is your hometown? My hometown is Malabe. Then, where do you work? I work in a bank. Why did you get late? I got late because I missed the bus. When is your birthday? My birthday is on the 27th. Who gave this book? My sister gave this book. So this is how the questions and the answers appear when they are put in the proper order. Okay children, now let's do an activity from one of the past all-level papers. Look at this dialogue. You have to complete this dialogue using the words in the box. So pause the video and do it now. Let's see how you have done it. Here is the complete dialogue. Let's read it together and you can see whether your answers are correct. Hello auntie, is someone at home? Hello Ravi, no, he is not at home. Where is he? Has he gone somewhere? Yes, he went to Candy. Why did he go to Candy? He promised to give my history notes today. I sent him to see his uncle who is ill. When is he coming back? Next Sunday. Oh, who is he staying with? What is his telephone number? It's 081-222-3421. Thank you, auntie. Bye. Bye. I hope you got all the answers correct. I hope this lesson gave you more practice on how to form questions correctly using WH question words. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye until next time.